Stephen in Mahopak, New York. Okay. Hey, Paul, I've been watching your videos for years and love what you're doing for the hi-fi community. Well, thank you, sir. It's my pleasure. Uh, my question is a toughie. Mm -mm. Oh, boy. Hey, it's Saturday morning. Come on. <laughs> Give me toughies on Saturday morning. Uh, I can't find the answer anywhere online, so I thought maybe you or someone on your team might know. My question is this. How can a voice coil vibrate at multiple frequencies when the voice coil can only have one magnetic field strength at a time? Hmm. Okay. So that's an interesting question. I, it's probably tough uh, to explain. Hmm. How do I explain it? So, all right. So we know that here's a driver, right? And we know that this driver is a piston. The driver is a, uh, and this piston is compressing the air back and forth. You know, it's, it's causing a vacuum when it goes, it pulls less air pressure out, push it forward, it compresses the air. And this back and forth motion gives us sound. The voice coil in here is just simply a coil of wire. And then on the back, you have this big magnet right and you put an electrical signal in here now it can only move this way and that way that's all it can do and it does it in a way how do i explain this so so you're right it can't do two things at once it can only do one thing which is move back and forth but it can do it very quickly depending on the driver if, especially if it's a tweeter it can move 20, 30,000 times a second. So it's kind of like asking, how does a movie work? We know a movie is a series of still photographs that are moving at a speed that looks like the minute changes as, as the person's, your hand moves from here to here. It's juttered, it's, it's, it's like that, right? And it looks like a smooth motion when we run it fast enough. And this can only do one frequency at a time, one movement at a time, but it could go a little up and a little down. Now here's the part that is, is kind of interesting, and maybe this will help. Imagine it's trying to make a bass frequency. Let's say we, we're gonna do it 20 hertz, all right? So this is gonna move back and forth 20 times a second. At the same time, we have a one kilohertz signal, right? We want to do 20 hertz and one kilohertz at the same time. And maybe this gets more to the core of your question. As this moves in and out, it's also going right? So as it's moving in and out, it also is moving in and out very quickly. So you have the thousand cycles like this going in and out and you have the 20 hertz. So the two move together. Now, if you have a full range driver, let's say you have one driver that's trying to do 20 kilohertz and 20 hertz at the same time, you get, it, it can do it, but it's, it's moving, you know, it's, it's going like this. And that causes something that we, we would refer to as Doppler distortion. Right, Doppler distortion is is kind of what you hear when a siren goes by and you go, Ooh. it changes the frequency as it goes away, right? Because the wavelength gets longer as it goes away. That's sort of a Doppler effect. This movement on here is pushing that high frequency in and out at 20 times a second, and it causes a funniness in the sound, which is why most of us don't particularly like single driver speakers. That's why we break it up into tweeter, mid-range, and woofer, so that you can reduce that impact of the woofer moving very quickly and slowly at the same time. Hope that helps. Thanks.